right. It looks like we're live. Yay! Good evening. I am Stampin' Dee Dee from Stampin' Dee Dee's Doings. And this is the first Tuesday night of the month. So it's dying to know. And I'm just glad to be here with you. Let me get this turned on. Yeah, I don't know if that'll help. So I'm glad to be here with you. And tonight we're going to look at one of the brand new stamp sets. And today was May 2nd, the day you get to order from the new catalog. And I hope, I hope you were able to do that. Um, it's an exciting day. It's exciting to get a new annual catalog with with lots of new sets and new ribbons and new gems and lots of new ideas. So I hope you were able to get some fun things. But tonight we're going to look at one of the new fun whimsical sets in the catalog. And the reason I picked it is because it has so many pieces. <laughs> so I thought, well... We need to know what those pieces are, and then you can decide if it's a set that you would want to use or not. So, um, I do want to just men mention that Thursday, Thursday morning at 10 o'clock on um, Stampin' Thursday, I will be introducing the May Stamp Club, the May Monthly Stamp Club set. And it is going to be Irresistible Blooms. And I'm going to show you samples. I'm going to show you three, at least, of the cards that are included with that set. For the monthly stamp club, every month, it's $35. And for that $35, you get eight card kits and eight envelopes. You'll get two each of four different designs. So, um... And they will all be using the stamp set featured that month, the, the, that month, the stamp set bundle, the stamp bundle. Um, I cannot stamp the images per Stampin' Up! guidelines. So, if you don't have the featured bundle, then you can substitute a stamp that you already have. And this month with Irresistible Blooms, I, I can't imagine why you wouldn't want that set. It is a gorgeous set and so fun to use. But if you don't have it, you can substitute a different stamp. Now, I'll give you all the cardstock, all the designer series paper, all the pieces that you need, all the die cut pieces, but I can't stamp it. So. For $35, you get eight card kits. You get a PDF tutorial, full color tutorial with photos, and I'll email that to you. And then you get $20 to $25 in free products. And um, they will be products that coordinate with the cards, the card kits. So um, all of that for $35. If you need it mailed to you, then you'll need to include... I believe I've lowered it down to $9. I found a website that that um, my daughter told me about that has a little bit cheaper rates than you get at the post office. So, um, $9 for priority mailing. And um, it'll be ready to mail to you or for you to pick up, if you're local, on the 25th of the month. The deadline to RSVP and pay is the 10th so I hope that um, you will want to participate in that you can participate that no matter where you live in the US so it, it's a it's a, a club to go all right let's get to it I'm gonna lower the camera down it's always fun isn't it so hang with me Alright. 
get it out just a little bit. Here we go. Move that up. Get that out. All right, we're ready to go. So our stamp set that we're looking at tonight is Zany Zoo. Now I'm going to lower this down just a little bit. Give you a little better look at it. The Zany Zoo stamp set bundle. And let me look over here and see if anybody is... Woo! Hold on. <laughs> no. So if you're watching, please comment. Let me know that you're there. Um, I know that there are some people watching. So I would love to know that you're there. I promise I won't put you on the spot. <laughs> I'll just say hi. So thank you for watching. And if you're watching the replay, I so appreciate that. Um, you may watch it on YouTube. I'll be putting this on YouTube later tonight. So if you watch it on YouTube, thank you. And, and please comment and let me know that you're watching and um, where you're from. I love to see where everybody's from. It's so interesting. All right. Here is Zany Zoo. I, hi, Kay. Thanks for commenting. I'm glad you, I guess you can hear me, right? <laughs> I hope so. All right. Zany Zoo. This is the bundle that we're looking at tonight. And Zany Zoo has six fun, fun characters. A llama, a turtle. Ah, uh, looks like a something. I don't know what that is. Um... This is a skunk and a raccoon and a gator. What is this? It looks like maybe a leopard or a cheetah, something like that. Some kind of a cat. And then the, the sentiment, something great to celebrate. You. And you're too cool. And happy birthday to you. So the fun thing is, this little guy, the turtle, is actually singing. Happy birthday to you. And here are the notes. So let's open up. Now, one of the stamps, the llama is missing. So we're going to use that tonight. But here are all the dies. And this is the main reason I picked this set. But let me show you. Since the catalog went live today, I can show you this set in the catalog. And here it is on page 47. And it shows you the dies and the stamps and the paper. If you order the suite, you get the dies, the stamps, the paper, and you get this um, ribbon duo pack with petal pink and lemon lime twist ribbon. So, and then it gives you ideas to use, how to use it as wrapping paper or as a tag or um, lots of, lots of cute ideas. So, it's on page 46. The suite is $76.50. Now, this says $78.50. I don't know if you can see it. But we got a, a notice saying that that's the incorrect amount. It's $76.50. And, um, of course, everything can be ordered separately, too. And let me just give you a quick glimpse at this paper. Now, I've used one of these a lot. So, this one is the musical one. It's got lots of different characters, bears and, I don't know, it looks like a platypus and a turtle and I don't know, what is that? A, I don't know what that is. All these characters playing music and, um, playing different instruments with lots of music. And this is the background, and it's mainly the background that I have used this paper so much for. I love this dotted background. So, and the die, the die set cuts out this turtle. So you can cut the turtle out of the designer series paper and use it. All right. Then the next sheet, these are all dancers. So you've got all kinds of dancing images. 
all kinds. And the die, where is it? Here it is. The die cuts out this little guy. So he cuts this one out, and there are several of those. But you know, like this hippopotamus, or I guess it's a hippopotamus, so easy to fussy cut. And I fussy cut this guy, and I fussy cut this guy. So they're easy to fussy cut. Now let me put this back, and then I'll show you the back side of this paper. So here's the back. And that's another really neat, all of the backs are black and white designs. And this is the outdoor, hiking, camping, bird watching, photographing, m roasting marshmallows, catching butterflies, lots of really cool outdoorsy animals. And so they can be used in any number of ways. And mm -hmm. the die for this one is, isn't it this guy? It's the backpack, isn't it? Is it the backpack pig? What is it? Oh, now I'm going to have to look and see. Oh, no, it's this guy. <laughs> It's the skunk. You can tell I haven't used him yet. It's the skunk with um, the bird watcher. All right, so you can cut that out of this paper. And the back side of that is little black and white flowers. And then we have the relaxing around the house. Um, you have cooking and meditating and reading and knitting and um, let's see what, painting. I think that's it. And the die that cuts this group out is the llama. However, I did see a post that called this an alpaca. So I don't know. It looked like a llama to me, but um, maybe somebody knows the difference. I didn't look it up. I guess I could have, but I called it a llama. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna put that die back up. And the back side of this one, oops, I hit my camera, is a squiggly, black and white squigglies. And then this one is party type. It, it's um, armadillo with the present and a raccoon with balloons and a dog um, blowing one of those blowy party things. Um, the elephant with the banner. What else do we have? Ah, we have the little koala, maybe, juggling cupcakes. <laughs> and this one, the die cuts out the raccoon with the balloons. So you could use that. You could also stamp and die cut all of these, but you can cut them out of the designer series paper if you want. And again, most of these are really easy to um, fussy cut. And the paper on the back, stars, black and white stars. And then last of all is just outdoor fun, playing outdoors. Um, so you've got the gator on a bicycle, the rabbit on the scooter. You've got the, um, what is that? Uh, um, ostrich maybe on skates. Looks like a anteater on a, a unicycle and a fox on a little scooter, motor scooter. So lots of fun images on this playing 
And the dye that can be used on this one is the gator on the bicycle. So you could cut that out. All right. And the back side of that are zigzags, black and white zigzags. So lots of really cool black and white patterns. And you know, you can add color to any of these patterns by using your blender brush and brushing some color over it. And instead of black and white, then it might be black and blue or black and red or whatever you want it to be. All right, so that is the paper that goes with this, coordinates with this stamp set. All right, so now let's look at our dies. Now I've already shown you the different animal dies and of course the stamps. Um, you have a stamp with each die and um, you have some flowers, these little flower dies. And you have a couple of balloons and I'll show you how I use those. A couple of balloons. I can't hold on to it. And you have um, two trees. A couple of trees for the outdoors. And some clouds. Let's see. Is there just the one cloud? I thought there were two. I guess there's just the one cloud. And this is really cool. You've got, and I'll show you how this is used, but you've got a curtain, like a stage. So you use this, one on each side, and again on this side, and it forms a stage. And these, this little bitty die is the little tie that goes on the curtain. See that? Little bitty, little bitty things. All right. So we're gonna, I'm gonna show you that in use. And the other thing that's on here is, this is a little three-legged stool. And this is a little flower vase. Put that right there, a little vase. And then you have right here, this little bitty, little, little bitty flowers. Three of them, it cuts three separate flowers that go into the vase. And we're gonna be using that, so I'll be showing you that. Okay, so I think I've shown you all of the dies and all of the stamps. So let me set this aside and I'll bring in some sample cards that will demonstrate how these pieces are used. So here's the one I was telling you about with a, a stage and I'm gonna lower this down a little more now. So this is great to use with the dancing um, images. And so what I did was I, I actually cut this one out of the designer series paper. I fussy cut these two and then I cut my stage and these are those little ties I was telling you about. And I just cut a strip for the bottom because I felt like the stage needed a bottom. These are the little flowers. You saw those over here, the flowers. So I just, I thought the stage needed something else. And um, so I just put some flowers down here in the corner. I did emboss with the painted textures, I think is what it's called. I embossed a background. And this paper is from the 23, not 2023, 2025 
in color designer series paper. So I wanted something besides black and white in the background and this has little hearts. So I used it and then you're too wonderful. So that would be cute to send to a, a, a child, a daughter, a granddaughter who loves to, to dance. Um, I think they'd get a real kick out of that. All right, that's one. Now let's go to the outdoors. So I cut my, my azure, azure afternoon, azure afternoon, I can't pronounce it, um, with the color and contour dyes. And then I just tore a piece of crumb cake for the ground. And I used my trees and I cut two different greens because trees are different colors. They're not all the same color. And I cut some clouds and I popped one of them up. And then I went ahead and stamped and die cut this little raccoon with the balloons and colored him real simple. But then I used the balloons from the die set and I cut balloons to put on top of the balloons that he was holding just to give it some more dimension. See, this was the die. But I added my die cut balloons on top of these balloons <coughs> just to give it some depth. And happy birthday to you and some of the garden green ribbon. All right. So that is that one. Let me get a sip of water. The next one is a fun card. And I actually um, used, I demonstrated this card or showed this card in a class recently, but Again, I used the same little guy, and I had some stray balloons floating around, and I used the party stamp, the, the um, different little images. I used it twice on this card. And something great to celebrate you, I combined the um, lemon lime twist ribbon and the black and white gingham ribbon and this is one of our step cards. So I want you to be able to see all of it. I stamped, I stamped these images on the uh, squares of white paper. I stamped three of them and I made sure that I had this guy showing on one of my designer series papers. So they're all celebrating and saying happy birthday to you. So that was a fun card to make and it'll be a fun card to send to somebody. All right, one more. And this is another happy birthday. And we actually did this one in one of my recent classes. So I thought I'll just bring it out and show it. But this turtle guy is singing happy birthday to you. And again, I used that black and white dotted paper. I used that several times and then my black and white gingham ribbon and the black matte dots and the notes, the music notes just stamped in various different places. And I did um, stamp and color the turtle, but you could cut him out of the designer series paper and not even have to do that. All right. And last but not least is the card that we're going to make together. This one is, um, I stamped the llama guy and colored him. And then I cut out the home, that relaxing home, crafty, designer series paper. I backed it in lemon lime twist. And then this is the Lost Lagoon. The card base is the Lost Lagoon paper. And I did that because there's some of that in the designer series paper. 
So this one is using the little stool and the vase and the tiny little flowers, and we are going to use those. We're going to cut those. You'll see how tiny they are. They're tiny. <laughs> All right. So let's get with it and make this card. I'm going to set this aside. And a lot of it, I went ahead and cut ahead of time. I did my card base and folded it and um, burnished it. And then this is my lemon lime twist that is cut at four by five and a quarter. And then my designer series paper is cut by three and three quarters by five. And you'll see that my llama is in the center. And so we're going to stamp him or her on this and cover it up. So let's get to it. Let's stamp our llama. Here's our llama stamp. And I'm going to do it in uh, basic gray. So let me get out my basic gray ink. Let me grab a piece of um, scratch paper. Put it down. All right, let's get that llama or alpaca or whatever it is. Let's get him stamped. So I'm going to turn this so that I can see it. And I'm going to stamp her. I'm going to make sure I've got her straight. I'm going to stamp her right there. There we go. So we've got her stamped. <clears throat> I'll set that aside. Put my stamp away. All right, and then I'm going to bring in, let's see, let me go ahead and stamp a cinnamon. So I just got a piece of scrap paper. And the sentiment we're going to use is something great to celebrate. And that's you. And I'm going to put it right here on this block. Okay. Ink it up. Stamp it right here. Something great to celebrate you. Clean that stamp and put it away. All right, now we're done with this. So we're gonna put our basic gray ink away. And I used my um, Stampin' Right markers to color him, her. Why do I call him him? I don't know. All right, and so the chair I'm gonna do in crumb cake. I did it in a darker color on this card, and I think it needs to be lighter. So I'm gonna go ahead and color that chair in. My Stampin' Right markers are easy to color with. I am gonna turn this one around. They're easy to color with. I love using them. Um, you really can't, you don't get a great effect blending. So, and I do like to blend some things, but there are some things that I just want to straight out color. I don't care whether it's blended or not, and this is one of those things. So we're gonna get this chair colored in. There's not much to it, but I do have to turn it <laughs> so that I can see it. 
and there's a little piece right there <coughs> and little pieces right there and then we'll come on down here now you could make this chair as fancy as you wanted it to be but I wanted it to be pretty simple so I didn't do different colors I also wanted to be um, use our time wisely This, this particular session is not about coloring. It's about um, using this stamp set, this bundle. Okay. I think we got it all, didn't we? I think we got all the little spaces. And I also I'm going to do her feet with this color <coughs> and her hands. I'm going to go back to the pen. It's more precise. Okay. She's just knitting away. <coughs> We're done with that color and now I'm going to come in I forgot to get my um, Lost Lagoon. Okay, there's that. <clears throat> so I didn't want to color all of her hair. I, I really wanted it to be more of a highlight is lost yeah so you almost have to color it all around her face just because there's not much there but the rest of it I wanted to um, leave it white you know I'm not sure that's the color I used Lost Lagoon. Well. All right. I'm going to get under her chin. And then I'm just going to do the edges. So I'm just coming around the very tip edges. The edges of her fur. The edge of her arm. Do the edge of her arm. I'm going to come down here and get the edges of the fur. Oops, I didn't mean to do the green there. Right there. And right here. All right. Now we're going to use our lemon lime twist. And that's the color that we're using on the yarn. So we can just get that done real quickly. There we go. I didn't do her arms and legs. I really didn't want to focus on the coloring. And in my opinion, it's perfectly okay to leave things uncolored um, we're just going for the accent, so um, I think I'll put, come back to my Lost Lagoon, and I didn't do anything on her ears, so I'm going to put a little bit of color on her ears, and then I get out my tiny, tiny tip um, Micron pen. Oh, look, I can get stuff on me. And I wanted to accent her lashes and the dot, her eye, 
I need to accent that in her nose and her mouth. There we go. All right, we're done coloring her. Got her ready to go. Now, we're gonna cut out of early espresso. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna cut that stool. Let me bring in my, oops, my uh, mini cut and emboss machine. And we're gonna go on and use this tiny little die and cut the stool. It really makes the cutest little stool. Okay, there it comes. I'll put that die away. And we'll take the stool off. There it is. Isn't that cute? <laughs> and while we're cutting, we're going to go ahead and cut the flowers. So here's that tiny little die. And we're going to put it on this uh, sweet sorbet. And run it through. Take the die, and it looks like one of the flowers is stuck in the die. There's one. <laughs> See how tiny they are? Oh my goodness gracious. So I'm going to use my Take a pick tool and get the other two out. There's that one. And there's, whoops, where's the third one? Uh-oh. What happened to my third one? Did anybody see it? Oh, there it is. There. They're so tiny. You have to be careful not to lose them. And then the last thing we're going to do is the little vase, and we'll do it in the Blue Lagoon. So let me get the flowers and put them over here. Where'd I put the stool? Over here. Put it with the stool. And then we're gonna run the, the vase through. Run the vase through. Okay, here comes the vase. Get my die and put it away. Here's our vase, another little bitty tiny piece. Put it with the others. And that's all we're going to die cut. So let me my machine away over here all right and here are all of our little bitty pieces <laughs> not too many but they are little bitty in fact I probably should have my the other end of my take a pick tool I've got the brush on because I was using it for a class, but I think we need the putty end to pick these up. So I'm gonna put the putty end back on. All right, we're ready to add these pieces to our little die cut piece over here. So the first thing I'm gonna add is the stool. And I'm just going to put a small amount of glue 
on each tip and put it right down here, right next to her. There we go, right next to her. And then we're gonna, we're just gonna glue the vase at the bottom so we can stick the flowers in the top. So I'll put it right here on the, on the stool. Whoops. And now these two tiny flowers. So I'm just going to put the tiniest bit of glue right on the tip. And stick it in. There's one. Let's see. I think I can get this. Tiny little bit. Doesn't take much. Well. Put that one right there. And then the last one. We're going to put it, I can't see, there, right there. So I'm going to spread these out just a tiny bit. There we go. There. Now we have our llama and our stool and our vase and our flowers. And we're ready to put our card together. Well, let me go ahead. So what I need to do with my sentiment, this one I just trimmed and um, bannered the edges. So I'm just gonna do that. Go ahead and do that real quick. Get it trimmed. My scrap aside. And come back. Banner these edges. Let's see if that's about the right length. I need to make it a little bit shorter. All right. Now we're just going to banner. We do have a tool, a punch, that will do this for you. <clears throat> but I just do it. I find it easier to just do it. <laughs> All right. Get that little bit cleaned up there. And we have our sentiment. So before we, let's see, we'll go ahead and put down our lemon lime twist. We'll get that down. You notice I don't put adhesive all the way around, I try to save on it. There really is no reason to. All right, we're gonna get our lemon lime twist down on our Lost Lagoon, two of our new colors. Now, before I put this piece down, I need to add the lemon lime twist ribbon. So these two, I'm going to put around the card 
and crisscross them. So I'll put the first side here. Let me get them crisscrossed in the middle. And then these I'm going to put down right here. And I've got some scotch tape. <laughs> to me, that's just the easiest thing to use. I try to use other things. Sometimes I use my, my um, stamp and seal, but it's just as easy most of the time. It's just as easy. Most of the time, you know how that goes. The tape's going to turn under when you don't want it to. Okay. Now we're going to come on the other side and put it down. I definitely got one side longer, didn't I? <laughs> All right. All right. Let's see how it looks. Ah, looks great. Looks great. All right, so we're going to get this down. Oh, got off of the got off of it a little bit. Okay. Some in the middle. Some right there. I think we're good. Okay, let's get this down. All right, we're moving along. Now we're going to use dimensionals for this. A little bit bigger piece. I want it to be supported. So we'll put three on each side. I'll put this piece down. I'm looking, I want these two guys to show just a little bit. tie bow. Let me look and see if there's any comments. Hi, Tori. Hey, that's my daughter. <laughs> Thanks for popping in. I'm glad you did. All right. Get this bow tied. And we're going to bring it in a little bit. All right, right there. Cut these really short. And use a glue dot and put it on. We're going to put him right there. I think I need to make this one a little bit shorter. All right, got that going. Now, all we need are our gems, and these are the iridescent pastel gems. And we'll get our take a pick tool and put some of those on, and we will be done. 
Oh, no, we have to have our cinnamon. <laughs> Can't forget the cinnamon. Okay. What did I do with it? Where did it go? Must be underneath. Sometimes I scrape things away. Anybody see it? Where'd the cinnamon go? Hmm. Well, we, we all know that we had it, right? Did I knock it off? Well, I don't think so. There it is. All right. Here we go. <laughs> We're going to use dimensionals again to put it down, but... We are going to stick it right here. So only a dimensional on this end. And we'll put some glue on this end. Not much, doesn't take much. Get that down. Get that there. We're done. That's it. There's our card. Something great to celebrate. You didn't do the inside. All right, so hopefully you can see that this is a really versatile set. Put all this stuff away and get the cards back out. Get all my scrappy pieces put away. Here we go. All of these cards. Outdoors, dancing, celebrating, singing, relaxing at home. Lots of fun. Let me raise this back up so you can see more of them. All right, we are done. I hope this has helped you to, to see how this set can be used, how much fun it can be. Thank you for watching. Thank you, Kay and Tori. Thank you, and I hope you have a great, what day is this? Tuesday. A great rest of your week. God bless. Bye-bye.